welcome back guys so today I'm making a Caribbean sweet potato pudding it's an authentic Caribbean sweet potato pudding okay the ones that your grandfather used to make from back home okay so anywhere in the Caribbean that you lived this is what you get okay and also here in Toronto too so this city is a big melting pot city you'll find this here especially for me yeah so here are all the ingredients so here we have some sweet potato this is Caribbean sweet potato it looks like this right so you want this nice purple sweet potato this is the real deal here okay and so this is what, three three and a half cups of sweet potato okay so here we have brown sugar we have one and a half cup of brown sugar we have ginger we have three tablespoons of ginger here if you don't like ginger you can omit the ginger or put a little bit of ginger here we have coconut this is grated coconut this is two cups of grated coconut and what I did I grated it I didn't put it in the machine I did it on the grater on this side so this side here you grater okay so here we have three tablespoons of butter you got it got to be melted so I'm gonna stick this in the microwave after and we have cornmeal so we have half cup of cornmeal well this is probably three-fourths cup of cornmeal and here is two cup of coconut milk here is one and a half cup of flour and of course you have your you have to have your little bit of dark rum right so here is two three tablespoons of dark rum it's probably a little bit more but rum is rum right and yeah so oh and you need pure vanilla you need like two teaspoons of vanilla it have to be your pure vanilla and we have some mixed essence and you have to have your cinnamon okay so that is all the ingredients so what I'm gonna do now put all of it in mixing bowl and mix it all up you don't have to like you don't uh, prepare it like when you're doing regular cake you know when you have to do the sugar and the butter and you gotta whip it and then you gotta add the eggs and whatever this you just put in one big bowl and you just whip it all up okay so I'll get back to you okay so here we go so what we're gonna do first it doesn't even matter what ingredient you put in the bowl first but um, okay so we're gonna start off with the sweet potato just dump that all in the bowl So sweet potato in. Need a bigger spoon. Okay, so next we're gonna put the brown sugar. So you need dark brown sugar. So here's dark brown sugar. I'm just gonna start. Um, I'm just gonna start incorporating all this, so it'll be easier when I have all the other stuff in there. So we're just gonna put the dry ingredients first. So I said it doesn't really matter. Now we're gonna put the coconut. Coconut. You know what? I love everything coconut, so I'm putting the coconut. So here is our ginger. Love a lot of ginger. Ginger is so good for you. Whether you're drinking ginger tea or you're baking with ginger, it is so good for you. Okay. So we're just gonna try to mix this a bit, incorporate everything. Incorporate everything. So so far we have our brown sugar, our sweet potato, and we have our coconut. And now I'm just gonna put. Uh, you know what? I'll add the sh I'll add the flour after. Okay. So now we're gonna add. Our melted butter. There's our melted butter. And you know, guys, this recipe takes no time. Because it's not like when you're making a regular cake and you gotta like, you know, be gentle with it and fold under, fold over, because you want the batter to be perfect. This is a pudding, so it's not like you need it to rise or be moist or anything like that. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so now we're gonna add the flour. So what I did, I add the cinnamon in with the flour. And um, 
here's a cornmeal you know guys it was so hard to find cornmeal I had to go to the grocery store twice like two different grocery store and you know a few weeks ago it was hard to find flour but now you see flour a lot okay so here's the nutmeg so what you're gonna do is grate about one teaspoon of nutmeg there we go there we go that's all our nutmeg and now we're gonna add our coconut milk this is just pure goodness guys pretty good okay we got our rum here you can use any rum but dark rum I guess is uh, would probably be better and you know what I'm just leaving a little bit back because I'm gonna make a nice um, syrup to pour over the top um, part way halfway through baking so again you're gonna put this in a 350 oven and it's gonna bake for about an hour and 40 minutes Okay, so now this is the vanilla, so we're putting in about a two teaspoon. And this is the essence. So we're putting in one teaspoon of essence. Probably wondering why I used the measuring spoon for the essence and not the vanilla because I just realized that the measuring spoon was right beside me. <laughs> it will do too. Just eyeball it. This smells so good. Oh my goodness. When you smell this, you feel like you're in the Caribbean. You just feel like you're on an island, you know? Just have that. I don't know. I don't know how to describe the smell, but the best I can say is you feel like you're, you're on the island. nice okay, guys. Beautiful. just remembered the way the batter is the batter is good but you know what I need more liquid so I'm adding um, <clears throat> half a cup of evaporated milk there we go Now we're going to add a bit of um, brown into this. One tablespoon brown in. There we go. One tablespoon. Now we're going to mix. Okay, so we have our brown in, so we're just going to mix. Mix it in. Incorporate it in. So my question is, have you ever had sweet potato pudding? If you have had sweet potato pudding, where did you get it? Did you get it in the in the Caribbean, on the island, Toronto, somewhere in the United States? Where did you get your pudding or did you make it at home? Let me know. This is beautiful. If you want to add more browning, go right ahead. Okay, I'm just going to add a bit more. So that was probably another teaspoon. Yeah. Don't add too much though, because when it bakes, it gets darker. It's just like um, the rules of rum cake, fruit cake. You know, some people add like a whole bottle of browning. And they think that when it, when you finish baking, it's going to be the color that they're looking at. But no, it ends up being ten times ten times that color. 
So now we have our pan here, greased. I didn't add parchment paper to this because, you know, it's a pudding. It's supposed to be heavy and um, it's not going to stick because there's butter. When you're making cakes, then you put, uh, then you do parchment paper. Okay, so this is it. So we're just going to get it in the pan and then stick it in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to do that then I'll get back to you. So guys, so now we're going to pour the, the mixture into the pan. So here it is guys, the batteries in the pan. So here it is guys, after an hour and 35 minutes, I'm finally gonna take this out. I tested it about five minutes ago. Sorry that I couldn't film the glazing part when I put the syrup I made over it because my battery died. So here we go, it is fresh out of the let this cool this is gonna cool for about you know what six hours if it's overnight even better but we're gonna let it cool for six seven eight hours and yeah and then it should be perfect and ready to cut so see how see the goodness in that look at that just beautiful just beautiful So here it is guys, our Jamaican sweet potato pudding. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm gonna do a taste for you. Mmm, all the flavors are there. When you taste this, it just brings you back to Jamaica. It feels like, not even Jamaica, but Caribbean. You just feel like you're in, you're on an island. Mmm, it's so good. Look at that. Mmm, so good. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, please subscribe, please comment, and please like the video, okay? Thank you.